has been observed throughout the study of classical Arabic that words follow specific patterns in a way they can be grammatically evaluated and categorized. A consideration which gave rise to the root system that functions with specific radicals, mostly three, with a series of patterns where each of them stands for a particular grammatical category. Fial is noted to be a pattern for forming verbal nouns of form three verbs based on their triliteral roots which are placed within the template to generate a noun in accordance with its fa'ala verb, carrying a similar idea, one in a form of a verb and the other in a form of a noun. From the root nun, qaf, shin, form three verb Na kasha, na kasha is built, and so is niqash, niqash, following the pattern fi'al, a verbal noun that refers to a discussion. Just as the way its verb na kasha refers to the action to discuss, na kasha. المسألة مع عائلته ناقش المسألة مع عائلته ناقش form three verb in the past third person singular masculine هو he he discussed what did he discuss المسألة is its object in the accusative with the sign of فتحة at its end because this is an object. Al-mas'ala, the matter, the issue, the problem, whatever. Ma'a, with, ha'ilatihi, ha'ila, famila. Ha'ilati is in the genitive because it is preceded by the preposition ma'a, with. And whatever comes after prepositions will be in the genitive case with the sign of kasra plus the possessive pronoun he ha'ilati he referring to his family his family okay, is also in the genitive with the sign of kasra so he discussed the matter with his family so here we have a dialogue, a short dialogue going on with two people. The verb naqasha, when is preceded by the imperative lam, lamul amr, I'm testing your knowledge based on the previous lessons. So the following imperfect verb will be in the jassif, the imperfect jassif. Li nunaqish. Li nunaqish, ending with a sukun, because it is in the jassif. Nunaqish, nunaqish, first person plural. Nahnu, we. Nunaqish, li nunaqish. Let's discuss, or we have to discuss. لنناقش الموضوع. الموضوع. We can say الموضوع. We can say المسألة. Or we can say القضية. It's same thing. Like the issue, the topic, the problem. لنناقش ماذا? الموضوع. The object of ناقشة. وجها لوجه. Face to لي. Wajhin li is another preposition that puts whatever comes after in the genitive, like the same way as ma'a does. And when the following noun is indefinite, we
we have to use double short vowels. Tenwin. Kasra tenwin. Two kasras. Because wash is indefinite. So, li wajhan. Again, we have tenwin. Two fathas. Because it's indefinite. We don't have the definite article. And li wajhin. Face to face. We have to discuss the topic face to face al mawdu' face to face or let's discuss the topic or the matter face to face so what is the answer of the other person len we learned that when len is followed by a verb in the imperfect it has to be in the subjunctive with the sign of fatha. Len. Len una kisha. Denying the future. I will not discuss. See here we have a fatha. So lamul amr, the imperative lam, followed by the justif. Len, followed by the subjunctive with the sign of. Fatha, unaqish, is in the present subjunctive. First person singular, ana, I, I will not discuss. So it's, we negate the future. When we have len, I will not discuss. Hada, the most pronoun, this, al this matter, marratan ukhra. Another time, another time, and Maratan has tenuin, double fatha, because it is an indefinite noun. Ukhra, another, another time. So I will not discuss this topic or this matter another time. Second, uh, third statement. Limeda. Why? Li madha? Why? So you can answer this question using li anna because li madha? Li anna because li anna an niqasha and li anna has a, its noun and its predicate. So its noun is in the Accusative and predicates is in the um, nominative case, but it may be implicit. So not explicit with a dhamma. If it's a clause, it's a phrase. So li anna nikasha li anna nikasha nikasha is a definite noun, the verbal noun of nakasha. In the accusative with the sign of fatha because it's the noun of li anna. So there is a lesson about inna and its sisters, and this is one of her its sisters inna. Li anna nikasha duna jadwa. Duna jadwa is the predicate. Duna meaning without when you you want to. Um, Deny an idea. So, duna jadwa. Jadwa meaning uh, advantage, a veil. Duna jadwa meaning is to no avail. It's pointless, in vain. So, because the discussion is to no avail. Pointless. So, duna jadwa. Or you can say, li anna annikasha la. La is another way to negate the idea. La jadwa min. So, when you use la jadwa, it has to be followed by the preposition min. And we need a returner. Because we have to refer to an niqash. So whatever we are referring to, if it doesn't 
follow, follow, and we when we refer to it, we need a returner, which will be the pronoun who. All right, the object pronoun uh, ha mean who, and this who is referring to a niqash because niqash is a masculine noun. That's why we used who. If we had a feminine noun, we would use ha ha. So la jadwa min who, or you can say just la jadwa mina an niqashi. See here, we mentioned an niqash. That's why we didn't have to use a returner. Because we have just one phrase, not two clauses, where we have to use the returner to refer to the preceding clause. So here you can use this simple uh, expression. La je dois mina an niqashi. La je dois mina an niqashi. So the discussion is pointless. Is to no avail. So just let's not talk. From the root Ain Lam Jim Ain Lam Jim. You have to go by order. Form three verb Alaja is built. And so is Ilaj, ilaj, following the pattern, fi'al, ilaj, fi'al. A verbal noun that refers to a treatment, a medical treatment, to be more specific. Just like its verb, alaja, which mentions the action of giving medical treatment. عالج الطبيب المريضة عالج الطبيب المريضة So the doctor that comes after the verb عالج So الطبيب gave medical treatment to the patient The patient is the object of the Verb alaja al marida. That's why it bears a fatha. Alright? Al marida. Grammatical cases are very important to know. Always check the end of, of words. So alaja al tabibu alaja is in the past. Third person. Masculine singular, huwa, alaja, alaja tabibu marida. The proverbial phrase, prevention is better than cure, is also used among Arabs. As, al prevention, a definite noun, al is better. خَيْرٌ min. That's the way we use uh, is better in Arabic. خَيْرٌ min. خَيْرٌ followed by min. Min, it means then. Is better than. خَيْرٌ مِنَ الْعِلَاجِ The verbal noun. الْعِلَاجِ And since ilaj is preceded by min, it's going to be in the genitive case. مَعَ Genitive case, whatever comes after. Li, another preposition that put whatever comes after in the genitive case. And min, also. Form three verbs which follow the pattern fa'ala have a verbal noun following two patterns. Fi'al, like niqash, discussion, ilaj, treatments. As we've just learned. And the pattern mufa'ala, 
مناقشة discussion معالجة treatment they have similar meanings are and are interchangeable sometimes we have only one form in use and not the other here is a list of form 3 verbs for you to find their verbal nouns as a good practice for today's lesson so you have the verb sabaka sabaka jahada jahada khasama khasama khataba khataba la qa la qa ila liqa'